So how do you see that the sector has changed since you've taken your qualifications and worked in, in the legal profession, Chanel? I find there's more paralegals around in firms I deal with on a daily basis. I speak to a lot of paralegals on, with our own caseloads. I just think it's, there are just a lot more of us and it, it's more prominent now than it was seven, ten years ago. And what about you, Caroline? I would agree with Chanel. Um, and also feel that um, because of uh, the good work that NAUP's done really in, in promoting paralegals. With regard to the sector generally, how, how do you see it developing? You know, there have been a lot of changes, haven't there, in the, in the legal sector in the last few years. Um, how do you see that changing insofar as consumers are concerned, uh, costs, aspects of the changes etc? I think a lot more consumers are becoming aware of paralegals in their own right that they can approach paralegals. I think the court system is now tailoring to people listening in person and, and them being able to do cases without involving solicitors and their costs. They can go to court and represent themselves so I think with paralegals they can assist in the background and be able to help them and to provide that little bit more assistance, give them a bit more confidence in, in going to court mm -hmm. that they wouldn't necessarily have in terms of court forms and dealing with the hierarchy of a court, mm -hmm. court and it was just what's how to address the judge. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, there, there has been terrible problems associated with the withdrawal of legal aid, hasn't there? Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, you've, you've created quite a point there in what you've said because um, the courts are being inundated with litigants in person yeah. and in some respects uh, it's because they can't afford to pay for solicitors and barristers. Yeah. What about you uh, Caroline, how, how, do you see, how do you see the sector progressing in the future? Um, I firmly believe that there will be more paralegal law, law firms as time progresses. Um, I'm for one uh, I'm a fair believer in um, justice for all um, and with the changes in costs and, and legal aid not being available to so many people these days I think that there's a, a, a niche developing there so that um, average people or, or middle working class people still have access to good and, and good legal uh, representation. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. It's a good point. And between you both, uh, uh, have you, you, you've said that you've seen a, a change in that there are more paralegals out there. Um, what do you think will happen to the conventional professions? Because if there are more paralegals coming into the sector, how do you think that may affect solicitors and barristers? I think there's enough room for all three professions to work alongside each other. I don't think we have to fight for the caseload, but I think they could tailor, or they do tailor more to the higher end of um, cases where a lot more, a lot, a lot more technical cases were, are involved. Mm -hmm. And I find, especially in my firm, that we do a lot of the same work as solicitors and we can we, we do it on a daily basis and it's not just photocopying or no. small jobs. We do, well, I go to court, I represent clients, I do directions, hearings and same things as solicitors. So I think there's enough room for all three to work together. Mm -hmm.